Okay, tell me you do drag without telling me that you do drag. I'll start. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Kyle and I have a YouTube channel here on YouTube. Um, please subscribe and become a Bleeding Heart today and become a member of our family here on YouTube. Please share my content with anyone who you think will love it. And without further ado, if you'd like to see how I transform into this gorgeous creature, then keep on watching. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. We're gonna do an unboxing video because I just got a new box and I've been waiting for it for days. It's been snowing. I'm gonna insert some clips of how, just how snowy it got. And I will let you guys see how snowy it still is, but we've been basically like sealed into our home for like, I don't know, like five days or so. Um, which is crazy. And today it's just like melting enough to where I feel like we could probably maybe get the car to get out of the driveway, but who knows? I'm gonna have some coffee so in my little Halloween bag so let's just I'm just gonna dress up my coffee here really quickly if you don't mind and then we'll get into it what do you guys like in your coffee I prefer to have one scoop of sugar oh, oh nope Almost killed my sugar. You guys want to go outside potty? I'll show you guys the dogs. Dogs! Say hi. It's a jiki? That's one. That's one. Come on, you want to go outside? Go on out there, go on outside. What are you barking at? What are you barking at? Baby one loves the snow. Jakey's not so sure about it. Um, but let's see this box, huh? Maybe if I set you guys here, we can do it all together. Here we go. Okay, so it says, oh, hey you. Oh, hey you. I like that, it's non-confrontational. So they packaged it very nicely, put some paper down in the top and in the bottom. <laughs> I don't remember how many items I ordered, but I think they're all in here. Let's just take a look. Most all of them, I think actually all of them are The Ordinary, which I have only tried one thing from The Ordinary so far. Um, it's a skincare kind of brand, very inexpensive, but very, it seems like people love it, great reviews on it. So I'm gonna review it for you guys. Um, but I've, I've wanted to try this stuff for a while. I, I did get their full coverage foundation. It says high coverage foundation formula, very, very fair pink undertones. So let's see, that's usually my skin is described that way. So yeah, that looks right. Looks like it'll be about the right shape. Very cute bottle, color formulation, Color formulations with mindfulness. I love that. There we go. So yes, foundation, which we'll try that today. There's also the high spreadability fluid primer. And I love that when it's for, that's cool. This one says colors on it because it's for color type of, you know, products it says high spreadability fluid primer 
spreadability enhancing lightweight surface smoother and primer which is usually what i like i just like that these packaging uh the packaging is very simple and the products seem very simple from what i've had so far um the other one that i tried was a it was actually let me go grab it oh, shabam so this is the first stuff that i tried from the ordinary it is a glycolic acid toning solution uh seven percent glycolic acid so i've been using this and i really like it i mean obviously i you can see i used most of it I got this vitamin C suspension in silicone 30%, which vitamin C I love. Um, I use the vitamin C line from MAC. Um, it's called Lightful C and I love it. So I'm really excited to try this. This one's called Natural Moisturizing Factors Hyaluronic Acid, which I'm very excited to try this one. Let's see how cute this little package. Oh, so cute. Look how cute. Oh, it's adorable. Um, Oh, so cute. The Ordinary. It says, The Abnormal Beauty Company. <laughs> I love that. Um, I'm excited to try this. This is hyaluronic acid. It's great for the skin because it holds like 10,000 times or 100,000 times its weight in water or whatever. So it holds a lot of water to keep water in your skin. And again, these things are just very simple. It says, Amino Acids, Dermal Lipids, Hyaluronic Acid hydrators and oils this one is called hyaluronic acid two percent plus b5 um hyaluronic acid serum it's got great ratings online i can't wait to try this um i think my skin will love it and then the last two one of them is for your eye contour area this one is called um caffeine solution five percent plus egcg high solubility caffeine and green tea caffeine Catechin. Catechin? Is that how you say that? Catechin? Catechin? I have something in my teeth. I'm sorry. I haven't brushed my teeth yet. This is retinol and squalene. Um, squalene is like a man made substance that mimics your skin's natural oil content and what your, na your skin's natural oils, like the. the. Uh, texture or the molecule size or whatever uh, that's all i know about squalene but i know that it's really good for your skin and moisturizing and since it's the most similar to your skin's natural oils it's very well absorbed um, highly nutritive and then retinol in a 0.2 percent and this one it says apply a small amount to face and pm as part of your skincare's regimen after water-based serums but before heavier treatments do not use with other retinoid treatments. Avoid unprotected solar exposure. Targets the signs of textural, textural irregularities and signs of aging, which um, texturally irregular is definite and aging, yeah. Okay guys, welcome back. Um, I just went ahead and took my shower and did my skincare and everything. Um, next steps will be, I just need to um, get the all the moisture and things away from my eyebrows. I'm gonna be using this technique that we tried in another video just recently to stick my brows down. So we'll see if that works. I'm very excited to see. Last time I didn't use alcohol to prep and I think that this would work so much better if I had an alcohol prep before so we're gonna try that definitely gonna be using my sky high today that's a new addition i'm gonna use this new sponge from wet n wild i've never used the wet n wild sponges before so we're gonna try it out i think it was like 2.99 or something so we'll see about that and then we're gonna try the ordinary foundation and primer so to get started i'm just going to um wet this and glue my brows down and then once I have those ready we will go right in with foundation and all that jazz so stay tuned got a package so I'm gonna open it up really quick I'm in the middle of gluing my brows down but oh are they all underwear oh this is a bag it's a unicorn bag. Yeah, it has all kinds of goodies. 
all kinds of goodies. Where did this come from? Oh, Andrew Christian. Don't we love that? Thank you, Nicholas. It's very thoughtful Valentine's Day, yeah. For you and I. Okay, everybody, welcome back. Um, we have glued down the brows. And now it is time, and I also wet my little wet and wild sponge. I will say it's um, really nice texture. It's a bit firmer than the Beauty Blender. It has a little, you know, cutout right here, which I actually really like those, getting under the eye and stuff. And then you can use the end everywhere. But we got that going. Let's get out our primer. And let's take this primer. I'm just going to give it a shake. I don't think it needs... It's all uniform in color. It doesn't look like it settles at all, but I always shake everything anyway. Let's give it a drop here. Okay, that's how much comes out. Oh, oh, oh. When they said high spreadability, they were not kidding about that. I'm just going to drop some here. Here. Nose. Most of my texture is gonna be down below, so I'm just gonna put two drops down the side there. There's a little bit on the brush. I'm just gonna start down here, start blending it in, working it around. Okay, let's go in with some color corrector. I'm gonna use Peach Luster, which is a prep and prime pen. Just twisting the bottom, it comes out through the top. I'm going to use it here, use her here. And this is to cancel out any tones of blue or gray that may come through the makeup as I have a very strong beard mark demarcation. Okay, so now we'll blend that in and then we'll go in with our TV paint stick for foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick and then I will be right back. <laughs> And we're back, you guys. Um, now I have my cream contour stick on, which I have been loving and using this e.l.f. one that I got in that e.l.f. haul. Um, I'm gonna use the Hydrating e.l.f. Camo Concealer. And this color is Fair Rose. Right underneath my eye. Okay. I'm going to use this down the nose, up, Ooh. This one is really juicy. Um, I know I've talked about this in my videos before, but like I always forget and it always pops out and like gets stuff everywhere. So if you have the hydrating elf camo concealer, be careful, it will get you. Um, I'm just going to do a little concealer here. It's just all the main brightening spots, right? Okay, so now we have all this. I'm gonna let that soak and set in. But to usually the step that I use a fluid foundation for is right now to blend all this together, make it look a little bit more seamless, and then we'll powder. So, very cute bottle. Um, this color is 1.0 P. Um, so 1.0 pink is what I'm guessing. And then SPF 15 says high coverage foundation formula, a high coverage creamy foundation that softens undesirable hues. Shake before use. I'm going to start on my cheeks. Oh, that's a nice texture foundation for sure. Yeah, we'll just blend in the lighter areas first, and then we'll move into the deeper areas in a minute. Blend in that concealer first. Now that we have the light parts mostly blended, we'll start with the darker parts. And since we have lots of our skin-toned foundations on the sponge, it should help to really blend it in make it a part of your foundation. I'm just gonna bounce this all in, set my face, and I will be right back with the powder. Oh. And we're back. Um, let's do some cheeks. I went ahead and baked my skin with my flower setting powder, and I also did use for the bottom part mostly, um, the Puff Puff Pass powder, which I also really like. I've been really into translucent powders lately. Um, I'm gonna use 
my bronzer, which is Give Me Sun, and a little blush brush, and just go ahead and deepen up my contour lines. Warming up the skin, giving us some definition, working on the areas that you want to slim or stand out. So I'm gonna use NW58 to deepen up the contour areas in, 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 in Studio Fix. Um, just a deeper powder for sure than my skin is. So as you can see, just gonna really deepen it up and provide more structure and thinness. If you can look at this side of my face since I've done that versus this side, we're slimming, we're taking parts away. <laughs> you can also round the cheek out, which I'm kind of doing that too, but I'm mostly trying to, I shape it a little bit on the top and a little bit on the bottom, if that makes sense. So then I'm trying to kind of create this soft, but really defined cheek. Let's see, I want to do kind of a warm, smoky eye, I feel like. Let's use, first I'm gonna use this color called Belle Epic. And we'll just put this over the lid. As kind of a colored base in the shade hue that we're going for, which is what's cool about paint pots. They're gonna keep your eyeshadow super, super well together but they're also kind of mapping out where your shadow is gonna go. You could also just wear these by themselves if you wanted to. You'd probably do a whole look just with paint pots if I wanted to. I'm gonna use my Nikki Tutorials palette. And I'm gonna go into shade Mila, which is this kind of like camely sort of brown color. It's got like a yellowy or orangey undertone. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna set that all the way over this. Cause this color is just really pretty to me. So I just kinda wanna wear this color today. Okay, and then going into, let's see, I wanna do 5 a.m. in this pointed brush and use that just to create some more definition down here. It's like a really dark, smoky brown. That. Pretty smoky, pretty messy. It's kind of my vibe. Okay. I do want a little shimmer. Um, <laughs> and I will say my favorite shimmer color in this whole palette is All In. Um, if you've never tried All In before, like I wish they sold that shade alone because it is, ooh. So pretty. I think what I'm gonna use though is, I think I'm gonna use Mr. Tutorials here. It's a little deeper. It's kind of a greeny gold. I'll put that in the middle. Ooh, I love that. Maybe I'll put a little all in on top. Just gonna put a little all in on top of there. Ooh, yeah. Just right in the middle. Oh my goodness. How beautiful is she? Oh, that's so pretty. Thanks, Nikki. Um, let's move on. I put on my special Moo Moo, just for you. Um, I put on some 75 lashes and my Sky High mascara. I've decided on which wig I'm going to do. And I've decided, I think I wanna do this cupcake right here in blue and pink by one of my eyes. 
And then I think I want to do, um, there's some stars. I'm be doing some Valentine's Day looks and kind of just never got to that because <laughs> of all the snow and being stuck at home and not having power. It was a struggle for sure. Let's put on a cheek and a lip because those are the easy parts. And then we'll come back and we'll paint in some cool designs. I'm going to take my little Wet n Wild sponge we were using, and this is called So Natural. It's a glow play blush. I love these for blush layering and draping. So I'm just going to start on the bow of my cheek. Really stamp that color in. These blushes are awesome. They're eight hour wear and they're really nice just by themselves, but for drag, I like to really amp them up and put another blush on top of them. So if you like an intense makeup like me, these might be your jam. Okay, let's do some warm sole to top her off. I'm just gonna use my little Wet n Wild blush brush. Rosy up them cheeks. And I feel like if you're gonna do as much contouring as we've done, in this drag tutorial, you definitely should put on a blush, probably, unless you're going for, like, gaunt, sunken, old person. And I usually don't. I haven't really been going for these sort of colors. I used to. This used to be my jam, but today I'm gonna do something I haven't done in a while. Okay, let's do some Night Moth pencil first. And overline a little bit. <laughs> okay, so this is the Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Color, and this is called Burn in Love. I'm just gonna draw it all the way over on top. Ooh. Let's do some of these guys. Let's figure this out. So I'm just gonna do. Oh, maybe I'll do this twinkle. This, these little twinkles look cute. I'm gonna do, I think these are stickers. And these just came for free with this little water palette. Oh, cool, they're stickers. So I'm just gonna put the stickers down. Let's see. We'll do the stars and stuff like this. There we go. And then we'll do the cupcake one. Should we do it on the same side? Yeah. Well. I'm gonna put it close to my eyebrow and on the same side. I feel like sometimes if you do too much on where it's like everywhere, it like is too much for me. I like it kind of when it kind of is all on one side or something. Something fun, something different, you know? Ooh. Very cool, you guys. I've never even done something like this. But very cool. If you aren't very talented and you want to, like, pretend you are, bam. Oh, yeah. Very pigmented. Amazon, you did that or whoever made this. I don't know, it's not Amazon, but I got it from Amazon. Okay, let's do some blue. We want to use them, but we will check that out a second here. Okay. But with some of this light shimmery silver, I don't know, what should I do? Let's do these in this shimmery sort of blue. Okay, well, we'll let them dry down and see how we do, and then we can add some little details with a little fine brush if we want to. Oh, the water's all like cotton candy, you guys. I love it. Okay, one moment of truth. Let's peel this one off and see how she does. Oh, look how cute she is. It's a little cupcake baby. Let's go. Oh, 
That's so cool, you guys. I love it. Okay. And then we'll, let's test the black. That's always the ultimate test, isn't it? How the black does. Pretty cool, you guys. If you want something that's super easy to use and fun, I highly recommend it. I do um, wanna say though, I think this stained my hand when I first used it. So I was kind of like very cautious that I was going to use this only on top of foundation and things like that, if on my face. So if you're using this for your body, obviously it'll come off when it comes off. It'll stain a little bit maybe. But if you're using it for your face, use a primer and a foundation under it because i don't know i don't know mm. starberry okay i'm just gonna um i'm just gonna go put on a wig and we will be right back with wigs and stuff ta-da here i am and I feel so good. I haven't been in Dragon forever. Um, feels good, feels right. Um, thank you for coming and watching this video. Um, if you liked it, please share it with others who you think will like it. Please subscribe and become a Bleeding Heart and become a member of our family here on YouTube. And I will see you all on the next video.